Hello, Kev, Leeds Harmonica, Life, Love and Blues Harmonica Licks. This is going to be a week or two shy of being properly topical because uh, I've got a couple of other videos scheduled. But uh, as I'm talking, last week Hona released their new version of the Golden Melody Harmonica to the extreme consternation of many, many people. Um, people who love Golden Melodies really seem to love them and uh, it's understandable because they're quite a distinct design and I don't know that there's any other harps really with that sort of cover plate, curved cover plate thing going on. Uh, maybe there is and I'm not thinking anyway. I imagine people are panic buying old stock Golden Melodies by the uh, dozen at the minute because they're going to want it the way it was, not the way they've made it. And the reason they've changed it is apparently the old machines were knackered or uh, wearing out. So instead of just replacing them like for like, they've gone and done a whole redesign on the thing. And I think it looks really interesting. It's got a nice, I, I think it looks quite nice. It looks different. Um, I'm sure it's very airtight. They've got the coat, they've got the screws the cover plate screws on either side of the comb rather on top which is quite interesting I'm not sure how that works but um, if it keeps it more airtight that's cool my problem is you can make any harp airtight right you can make a marine band airtight I don't know how much innovation is left in your humble 10 hole diatonic harmonica you can change the tunings Hona did their pentaharp thing a little while ago. Still haven't played one, but it's, that's interesting. You can change the combs, so you change the way they feel. You can change the cover plates, so you can change the way they feel and the way they sound a little bit. But at the end of the day, you've got a reed on a reed plate flapping in and out of its little reed slot, and that's what a harmonica is. I don't know that just designing funky new cover plates and stuff really counts as innovation and I'm not, you don't have to, it doesn't have to it's not like must innovate but uh, <clears throat> it just made me wonder that the harmonica really was perfected an awful long time ago it seems to me and you know, I suppose you could get really fancy, you could build some electronics into the cover plate, I suppose, to do all sorts of weird things. But it just made me think, oh God, because I'm not really pushing this. And I just thought, well, it's a different cover plate and a different comb. So if you're a Golden Melody player, this is a big deal. I guess it's a much bigger deal for people who play Golden Melodies. Um, that they're not going to be able to get hold of their beloved old harps, but if you've got enough of them around, you can change the reed plates. They'll go for they'll go for a very very long time. The golden melody is called the golden melody because it's fine tuning <clears throat> is slightly more amenable to melodic playing, especially in different positions, as opposed to the standard compromise tuning you get on marine bands, special twenties, etc that sort of split the difference slightly between nice sounding chords and in tune melodic notes but really again that's something else that doesn't make that much difference really at the end of the day um, but it did make me think that um, there's not an awful lot of melodic playing in blues so that's what I'm going to do today so to keep with the uh, sort of theme of uh, melodies and playing pretty excuse me um, I've come up with a very simple lick on the high end of the harmonica in the uh, uh, ma major pentatonic scale um, which will you know serve I suppose
quite a lot going on there, so um, check the tab. Nothing going on in terms of technique, but I'm hitting quite a lot of holes. So all I'm doing is playing single holes. I'm not slapping, I'm not even articulating very much, so it's got a very smooth sort of uh, gliding feel. Um, so in terms of technique, that's about as simple as it gets, although I'm trying to vary my dynamics a bit so it goes loud and quiet, which is always, always good. So this is going to, I'm going to try and play quite pretty and then I'm going to contrast it with some darker bluesy stuff, hopefully. <laughs> Set myself some challenges here. Um, so you can see how the, how the dark contrasts with the light and creates something quite nice sounding. Okay, MCCD sessions, slow blues in C. This is a low F harmonica. High F will work just as well. Let's go.
and so on and so forth. There's a lot of bum notes in there, but that just goes to show that I don't play up the high end often enough, so um, I'm not well enough practiced, um, which is a lesson in itself. So hopefully that was good. Hope you enjoy, and um, see you again soon.